for your turnips. Stop it. No. So we're gonna take the tender, I think, into the marina. In the marina. He's over here, I'll show you him. There he is, getting dressed. Into the marina, because again, you're allowed to take your tender in there uh, for short stays. So we're gonna go get lunch, see if we can show you around the island a little bit, and then come back here. We've got um, some little mini videos to do for you. And then we're gonna chill out, I think. We're gonna go to Tenerife. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, because the wind picks up on Saturday. Yeah, so four, four five, five, six. So it'd be nice to get around there. There he is, before. I'll just film him. It'd be nice to get across before it really picks up to force. I mean, Saturday it's five, gusting six, and then Sunday seven, gusting eight. So it'd be good to get out of the way, back into the shelter of Tenerife, behind the uh, big old mountain. I'm not sure what it's called. On the chart, it's Pico de Tira. But it's a, uh, it's a large old teeny, 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 Mount Teeny, Mount Teeny, Mount Teeny. Mount anyway, teeny. it says here 3,718 3, meters above sea level, so that's quite a bit higher than even Snowdon in uh, Wales. So it's, we'll go climb that. Why are you giggling at me? She's <laughs> giggling. Like a, it's funny like to an watch. Child. So that's the plans. What well from today. Get your cute little cherubs. Not here. No, no cherubs here. You get an angel taking a piss. Matthew. Look at that beautiful artwork there. Oh, we've, we're. Need to go forwards a bit. There you go, everyone. So we've had a little wander around the town and is, uh, now we found some geocaches. So, Matthew. Yeah, we'll have to find the geocaches down as well. On the breakwater. We found our first one. Yep. Yeah. Again, we've not brought a pen though. You we can't could, write oh, our names. Oh, you've got cards in your thing yeah, though. Yeah, I've got cards. So cards it is. But yeah, we're near people's cars, so we don't really want to hold, be filming too much or. Or the fact that we were, we were looking around. So I'm going to cut here and then put a card in and wander further up. Find our next one. We're not going to film exact locations this time, so. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to sneeze. Oh, sorry. Here. Again, no pen. So do you want to get us our card? I'm amazed it stays up there, you know. No, oh, it's quite quite cool actually. Get off me fly. Although it does look like we're doing a drug deal or something, it's sticking yeah, a yeah. random package of duct tape back behind things. There's no one around, so. Well, it's magnetised again. Oh no, that's. Oh, I kind of showed you exact location, sorry. Look <laughs> at the nice marina. So that's our uh, geocaching done, we found our two. The next one's up that mountain over there, isn't it? I think. I'm going to turn around and look at these awesome mountains. Ta -da! And all the stern two boats. Yay. Well, we're going to head back to Nova now. Uh, we've just had something to eat, so we don't need food. I'm just going to chill out. Matthew's probably going to try and catch a fish again and maybe fail. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, he's just playing with the geocache app at the minute. There he is. And we're going to go to Tenerife, not tomorrow, the day after. We found another one. Yeah. On the way back to Nova. Just showing you how dodgy it looks. There you go. Little tubs behind signs. <laughs> yeah. It's not dodgy at all this. Let me uh, mark it as done. So we're back from being on shore. Uh, we did our geocaching and then we've just motored over and the sun's setting behind me so it's really nice. Matthew's bought a new shaver for his head because he's lazy and can't be bothered to do it normally so he's got like a free bladed one so we've just done that now he's as bold as a baby and he, he likes it i don't know what he's doing at the minute i think he's washing all his hair into the sink um yeah it's a really pretty anchorage so we're gonna stay around here tomorrow because the wind is non-existent and then we're gonna head over to tenerife so we should have a force four force five to help push us along without having to use the motor but 
windy TV is often a, a one bow foot out, so it might be a 4.7, we never know, or 4.6, we never know. We'll see what happens when we get out there, but for now, I'll show you the sun setting behind me with this party cat as well. Can you see that? Oh, there you go. There's a sunset party cat going out, playing music very, very loud. It's quite cool. So, yeah, that's our plans at the minute, just making pizza. What are you up to? Cleaning me, uh, me new head razor. In the sink. In the sink. You've got a white head again and a burnt back. Rather. Yeah. And a naked butt. I'm not filming down there, Matthew. People wouldn't have known. Oh, right. The Sorry naked yet. chef again. Do you want to say hi? What do you mean do I want to say hi? Say hi to the people. Hello. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> So we just finished filming our hydrovane video and then we had lunch. Uh, Paige put the video together and now we're going to go ashore because we need to do some shopping before we head off tomorrow across to Tenerife. So we're running a bit low on food. That's the plan. I don't know why Paige is filming me. Just chilling. Just chilling. Instead of lunch, I'm chilling. And we're off. We're off shopping. To feed this face. <laughs> Oi! So we're about to head into town. Yesterday Matthew finally got himself a head trimmer thing and he shaved all his hair off but now he kind of is he's turned into a multi-tool. That makes no so sense it, Paige. Why? Well I had a head trimmer thing anyway. She means I got a a, um, a beard one uh, shaver. Anyway so my point is bone. that it's kind of made him into a multi-tool because we now, now don't need anything to uh, Sandpaper, listen to this if you can hear. Do you yeah. mind? Do you mind, Paige? So now we just rub it, file things down with his head. I'll file things down with your head in a minute. There we go, he's got his clean t shirt on, he's had his dinner down, he's awful one. We're back! <laughs> Funny enough, as you can tell, we're back on the boat. Tell everyone the news then. Oh, what this news? We're currently talking to uh, to Liam Stephen Shelbourne. He lives in the Falkland Islands and he's been getting us information about the Falklands for a sail if we want to sail down there. So thanks, Liam. But he's also got us in contact with Chris Keane, who's on the um, BFBS radio. I think it's Radio 1 channel in a breakfast show and they want to do a live segment with us on the Do you radio. want to tell everyone what that it is? Bars about two. Oh, sorry, okay. She butts in all the time. Sorry. Anyway, um, BFBS is the British Forces Broadcasting Service. So it's the Army's um, radio and they also do TV. You can find it on the digital channels and etc. in England. But when I was based in Germany, it's what we used to watch because it's, it's all in English. It's like, channel, it's like uh, BBC One back in England, but yeah, but is it voices only? Well, the radio one we're doing is, but they Good. also do a TV channel. Okay, cool. But we're not going on. We're going on the radio. Okay. I've got a, I've got a face for radio, so that's all right. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> You've got a face for TV. Not being a pain. I'm not looking forward to that. Can I show you the pretty sunset? Well, what's left of it? Pink skies. Our last night here in Canaries before Tenerife tomorrow. There's big black clouds. Coming up over the mountain. Yay. Here's Paige and they're washing him. Matthew's short. Matthew, mini Nova's right over there. He's what? supposed to be preparing for tomorrow. Look at this, everyone. This is all Matthew's mess. The pegs are mine. It's Matthew's mess. Messy Matthew. Matthew's pad there is my bikini top. You probably can't hear because I got my music on. Yeah, probably not. So it's uh, Matthew's decided to do some drilling this time of night because he thinks that we should be taking in our end sign because that's actually what we're supposed to do at 8 o'clock every night. Proper and, flag etiquette. Yep, yeah, and we're listening to this song. 
Oh, no, I, I like this song. Every night. It's it's depressing, but I think it's... I think it's a sad song. I think it's full of hope. And... So now we're taking the flag in, and now we've got something completely different to what we've just listened to. And that's going back to where I was saying as we listen to everything. Well, there we go, that's in Matthew's flag holder. We've just got up, we're just preparing over. Matthew's getting the screens and everything in and putting our navigational stuff on. And then we're gonna head over to Tenerife. So it should be a 55 mile sail. So it'll be a quite a long sail, but all fun and games. We check Winter TV, we should have a Force 4. Probably a Force 5, maybe a Force 6, we don't know. But yeah, it should be good sailing. Fingers crossed nothing else breaks on Nova and our auto helm kicks back in because it's been playing up. Um, but we shall see. Paige is going to helm us out today. She said she wants to do more helming. Yay, let's do it. I want clear hand signals. I want some of this. Matthew's currently trying to set Heidi up, but we have two knots of wind, so I don't think she's going to make much of a difference. No. But we shall see. Paige is currently at the helm. Tough work, this. Though with the lack of wind, I think we've got how much wind? Two knots. Two knots of wind. We're kind of just lolling about, doing one knot through the water. We're hoping to get more once we get past the uh, headland there. Well, That'd be... Sure. But the water looks... See you at Christmas. Yeah, we'll be back for Christmas. Well, we might be flying past uh, in the end of this month to go back to Lanzarote. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Bye-bye, Gran Canaria. There it is. With the sun rising over there. Not that you can see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a bit bright on this. Dancing. The fans want to see you dance. Come on, shuffle. <laughs> Come on, dance. Fans want to see it. Grand Canaria so we've got plenty of wind now and she got around 21 knots 17 to 21 so it's perfect for us sailing and um, we're doing around six to seven knots Matthew's here looking happy for himself because he's uh, out sailing again we've got Heidi going so they can see her working it because that auto helm is a bit knackered although it has came it's yeah dropped down a bit but yeah I'll show you the front and we'll uh, get some nice films done while we're sailing so uh, as soon as we were happily sailing we got hit with 30 knots so we're now at a force 5, force 6 I think Is that 23, right? force 6 We're at force 6 so yeah we've put our staysail out so I'll show you that in a second and we're happily sailing along at around 5 knots, 5, 6 knots now so it's all good
and the hall thronged back into life as men and women <laughs> took up where they had left off and the ale flowed and the green so the wind has dropped off a little and has now come uh, back the beam so we've decided to get put the staysail away and bring the foresail out give us a bit more as we were dropping off speed we were down to about five knots but we're now up to about back up to six to seven knots so uh, doing well Heidi steered us all helmed us all this way she's doing well we're all good We set out from Gran Canaria with two reefs in the main and flying the staysail. It was a 55 mile sail and we arrived in Tenerife at 17.43 hours. So we have just arrived at our anchorage for tonight. We've had 13, no, 25 knots the majority of the sail. So we ran the staysail for most of it and then we got the foresail back out once we were on a run. So it was really nice actually, it wasn't too bad sailing. We got a little worried at the end because the swell seemed to be coming into this anchorage, but it's actually not, and you can tell we're not bouncing hardly any at all. Um, yeah, it's quite pretty. We've got some mountains again. Look at them. Despite people saying that Mount Teed is about to erupt, apparently it's not, and I really hope it's not, even though Matthew would like to see the volcano go up. That would be up. pretty awesome if it did. He's an idiot. We'd die! We could be lava Ah, uh, Nova will take it. And a tsunami. I don't want any of that one in Nova. And also, we've got a, well, we think it's a super yacht, but it's, it's a big, big bloody yacht over here. Can you see him? I think you can see him. It's over there. I think, I think I've showed him, yeah. No wonder he was gaining on us. He's massive. So, yeah, now we're just gonna get food chill out and see what tomorrow brings there are a lot of fish farms here and it smells a bit fishy when the wind's blowing at us so i'm not sure if we're gonna stay here but we'll see i'm filming big daddy boat there he is whoa he's gonna go straight through the fish farm he's like nah i don't need to go around it go through it i'm a tank it does look like that doesn't it yeah i think it is you know what he's aiming directly at us he's, yeah, he's not anchoring here is he I bet he's got a swing on him. This is probably his anchorage. He's gonna pay I you bet off. He's got an anchor. Oh, the size of anchor must be for that thing. I reckon he must be anchoring then. No. How was your sail today then? It was good. I enjoyed that. Good sail. Good, good a bit of wind. Made good time. I think. I think we averaged about six and a half knots. So made it in good time. He's got like a tank engine, hasn't he? Matthew's being bum, nosy. Bum, 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 bum. The he is in the middle of the boys, so now the uh, the, yeah, the, the big market. the big super yacht is going through the boys. If he gets caught on a fish farm, I'm gonna laugh. Matthew, you're supposed to be a nice, concerned citizen. That would be if he wasn't going through the middle of a fish farm. Uh, he's probably from around here. He knows it. He must know it better than me. Still, that's a big boat. He's got a big prop to be get caught in the big nets. Yeah. He's got his anchor hanging, so he's definitely anchoring. I think he's just going to anchor there in the fish farm. Wow. There we go, we're going to be nosy. So he's just dropped his anchor, and then there were lots of shouting. Well, at least he's outside of the boys now. But now he's driving and his anchor's still down. Yeah, because they haven't dropped it fully. Okay. Sure. It's under the water, though. Oh, it's people who don't know what they're doing. He's dropped the anchor halfway, but you know how I make sure you make... I tell you, you have to turn the windlass on even though you're dropping the anchor. Well, he hadn't, so now I need to bring the anchor up. But they're still going forward. Isn't the anchor going to be hitting the bottom? Because they haven't dropped it that far. Worse than that. He's currently grinding the... Um, hull? The hull. Oh, well, they've got too much money to care, haven't they? Maybe not. Oh, Maybe they've that? saved up their entire life and now they don't know what they're doing. They're going to go behind the spray on, so I can't show you. Stop it. You can hear it, Paige. Matthew's horrible. Oh, you can hear it grinding the hull. Stop it, you turnips. Stop it. No. No. What? It's English flagged. Oh. They pushed a shame.
trunk. Matthew's telling me that we need to get the insurance out yeah, because probably. he's actually just anchored so on our anchored chain. Straight in front of us, probably right next to our chain. I'm going to spin it around so you can keep talking. So here, keep this is him. Back. He's literally dropped there yeah, and he's going to keep. There, but then he's got to feed it out. And I mean, we're at. So we're at, four, we're at 14 meters, so you need about five. You need about 50 meters out to be happy, maybe more. He is I've, getting close. I've got my full 50 out, so I don't know what he intends to do. I don't know. I'm going to have to board his boat. I think at this rate from my bow. Oh, it's making me cringe. He clearly has no idea how to sail a boat. If he gets any closer, he's going to get my fucking anchor chain in his prop. Let alone row. What are you doing? Recording you as you play your bagpipe music with your little Get down. flag. And Mr. Mega Yacht has finally anchored himself away from us. Yeah, we're safe from him. Flag is in, well, we'll be in place shortly in Matthew's flag holder. What are you up to? Having me music turned off because you want to film me helps me concentrate. Um, somebody's got a fog on. It must be one of the uh, big ships leaving the marina. I'm currently planning where to go next because this marina, uh, Anchorage, sorry, isn't that um, fancy. So I was going to see, we're currently down here at Los Cristianos. So we're probably going to go up to one of these, maybe even up to the top there to. Uh, I think that means point. I'm going to say point Tina. Tino. Point Tino. Yeah, we'll go for that. Up there. Now, go away, viewers. I want to put my music back on. We'll put it on for you. Let's listen to Matthew's song choice. Well, what we got? This is what we're listening to. Oh, we got to. Electro Gypsy. Spotify gives me. Um, well, I don't want to use the Spotify now, so they get a um, playlist once a week while this one was on it. I quite enjoy it. On that note, good night. Join us next time as we visit the most beautiful anchorage in Tenerife. Matthew joins the locals and we hike La Gamera. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with all the rest of our videos, then please think about subscribing. I want to say a massive thank you to all our patrons as well. Yep, thanks guys. And have a Merry Christmas. Yep, Merry Christmas. Um, we won't say a Happy New Year as the next video will be out just before the New Year. So uh, we'll see you then. Bye! What are you laughing at? Stop! Cease and desist. Nino, Nino, Nino. <laughs> You're an idiot. Look at them go.